I welcome you all to my channel. This channel is a small effort by me to make microbiology more palatable to students studying this subject. So today I'm going to give you mnemonics or hints to remember the important points regarding trypanosomiasis. So trypanosoma, the typical morphology is shown in the image here. You can see that there is a flagellum which is folded along the undulating membrane. Now trypanosoma causes one, sleeping sickness. Since it is endemic in Africa, it's also called as African trypanosomiasis. And two, it causes Chagas disease. It is endemic in South America, hence called as American trypanosomiasis. So first, I'm going to give you a mnemonic to remember the important points regarding Chagas disease. So the mnemonic goes like this. Red American armadillos chugged on the big Roman cruise strip. For people wondering what we mean by chug, chug means if you drink beer rapidly, that's called as chugging. Okay. So red American armadillos chugged on the big Roman cruise trip. Let's change the spelling of the cruise trip to make it more approachable to disease trypanosomiasis. So red American armadillos chugged on the big Roman cruise trip. So let's see what we're going to learn by this mnemonic. So the disease Chagas disease is also called as American trypanosomiasis. The causative agent is trypanosoma cruzi. The vector is redwood bug. Reservoirs are small mammals like armadillos and opossums. Romano sign is the periorbital swelling seen in people who get infected through the conjunctiva. And finally, in the chronic stage of Chagas disease, the patient has mega esophagus, mega colon, and dilated cardiomyopathy. Let's move on to now learning some important things regarding sleeping sickness. Now you can see a dog which is wagging his ears. This dog is called as Bruce. So the mnemonic is when sleepy in winter, Bruce wags ears. So the etiological agent of sleeping sickness is Trypanosoma brucei, which has two subspecies, Gambians and Rhodesians. So many a time it is difficult to remember Gambians causes which West African or East African sleeping sickness. So let's learn this by picking up the first two letters of West African. So we picked up W and A and the letters G and S from Gambians and make it into one word, WAGS. Okay. Uh, so West African sleeping sickness is caused by Trypanosoma brucei, subspecies Gambians. And East African sleeping sickness, again, pick up the same letters, E and A of East African and R and S of Rhodesians and make it into a single word, ears. So East African sleeping sickness is caused by Trypanosoma brucei, subspecies Rhodesians, right? So when sleepy in winter, Bruce wags ears. The word winter is going to help us remember that in the first stage of sleeping sickness, the winter bottom sign is seen, that is, the posterior cervical lymph nodes are enlarged. Now moving on to how will we remember the vector of sleeping sickness? So pick up the first two letters of sleeping sickness. So there are two S's out here and the vector is the Tsetse fly, which has again two S's in it, which belong to the genus Glossina. Notice all of them have two S letters in their name, right? 
so sleeping sickness is caused by or transmitted by the vector setsi fly of the genus glossena lastly it's difficult to remember gambians has no animal reservoir or rhodesians has no animal reservoir so to remember that when we write west african sleeping sickness caused by gambians subspecies gambians notice there is only one a here so this has no animal reservoir whereas east african sleeping sickness caused by subspecies rhodesians notice there are two a's in it so this has animal reservoir like domestic cattle so that's all today i hope this helps you we'll see you soon with a new video to help you in studying microbiology